In this video, I'll show you how to connect your HP SmartTank 5101 with your PC computer. I'll show you how to pair them together, how to print, and also how to scan. So let's get started right away. The first step is to put this HP printer into pairing mode. You see over here the Wi-Fi icon. If it's blinking blue, like the way it is on my printer, it means that the printer is ready to get paired. But what if yours is not blinking blue well in this case it's very easy to put it in pairing mode all you have to do is to keep press this i button during five seconds until the panel lights up the way it just did and then we need to press the wi-fi button and the x button both for five seconds two three four five then release these two buttons and the button over here will be blinking blue. First step is to go on the Microsoft Store. Usually you have the icon down below over here. If you do not see it, go into type here to search and type micro, here we go. Microsoft Store should appear in this list. Open this. And now we have to download the HP Smart App. Go on the top here and type HP smart. Once you've done this, it's this app over here that you need to download. Open the app. Once the app is open, you may have on the front here on the top, a button, a very big button saying to add a printer. If you do not see this, don't worry. Simply press this icon here on the left side. It's the same exact thing. We need to add the printer. Wait a few seconds. And your HP printer should appear in this list. If you do not see it at first, wait a few more seconds and here we go, mine appeared. Press set up, press continue, press no thanks. Now it's time to enter the Wi-Fi password over here the Wi-Fi network that your PC computer is connected to. Press connect once you typed it. Then they will ask you to press the I button on the control panel of your printer. You see, it's blinking. Just press on it once so the setup can continue on your PC computer. Press continue on uh, when you see the green check mark. And here we go on the main menu of the screen you're going to see your hp smart tank printer with how much ink is left into the tanks obviously this one is a brand new one this one this is why you see them all full now how to print and how to scan well very easy down below you're going to see all the options so if i want to print a document click here if you want to print a picture print that one i'll print a document Select the document you want to print on your PC. This will open. Select your HP printer in this list. This one. And then modify the settings depending what you're trying to print. I'll just leave it this way. Press print when you're ready to go. Make sure that your printer has some paper and that this flap is extended. Here we go. This is the document we just printed. It looks beautiful. Now let me show you how to scan. To use the scanner, open the scan lid here. You're going to take the document you want to scan and place it facing down with the top portion of the page. So over here, this is the top on the left side like that. Then you need to align the corner of the paper with the corner with a white arrow simply by gliding the paper this way. You can now close the lid and on the app over here, we're going to have the option to scan over there. Click on it. Then over here, don't change anything. You have presets. If you're scanning a text document, select document. If you're scanning a picture, select photo. Very simple, no? 
Then you have scan area. In my case, it's a letter size paper, so I'll keep it this way, but you can choose many different options here, depending what you're trying to scan. Output in color, in my case, you can also choose black and white. And finally, we have resolution. Resolution, it gives you a range between 75 DPI and 1200 DPI. If you're scanning text, I suggest you choose 150 or 300 DPI. If you're scanning a picture, I suggest you choose 600 dpi or 1200 dpi. Now the thing you need to know is if you choose those numbers it will take a while to scan. At 1200 dpi it may take many minutes, 5 minutes, 7, 8 minutes depending how many details are in your picture. So as I said if you're just scanning text choose one of these options 150 or 300. It will only take a few seconds and you won't miss any details really since you're not looking for some anyway in those kind of documents. So I'll choose 150 just to show you how fast it does and then I'll press the scan button here. So as you see it took us about 8-10 seconds I would say total. It's still scanning here. Let's see, here we go. So it took maybe 12 seconds, very fast. If it was 1200 DPI, we'll still be here for a long time. All right, so once you see the, uh, the scan over here, if you have multiple pages that you want to add to this document, simply go ahead, put the new page on the scanner and press add. You have all your pages on your screen, one beside another. But in my case, I just want to scan this, this one. So if you want to rotate it, you can press this small button to rotate the page if you're not happy. And then you have the options here to print whatever you just scan or to save it on your PC computer. You also have the option to share it on social media or by email. So this is it. This is how you use your HP printer to connect it to set it up with your Windows computer and then print and scan. If this was helpful, leave a like. Check my Amazon affiliate links down below. Uh, you help me a lot every time you go through my links to get paper, ink for your printer since you support my channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.